The government of Tunisia unraveled today. Outside Tunisia's interior ministry, a vast crowd gathered in scenes which will send shockwaves across the Arab world. Thousands of people yelling for revolution after 23 years of being ruled by the same man. Either this is the first Arab revolution of the 21st century, or it will be brutally suppressed. Who can take over in Tunisia? Who, who can be? Look around you, look around you. There is a lot of people who can take over. We are not. We are responsible, we are educated. We have, we can, we can take care of ourselves. This is historical what's going on right now. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. And for us to witness this and participate in it, it's incredible. It's been a remarkable day here, and nobody knows what will happen next. A day which has witnessed a lesson in people power from the Arab world. I am sure a revolution could take place here too. The situation in Tunisia was very similar to what we have here in Egypt. Today you're witnessing the beginning of a revolution in Egypt. We're going to follow the Tunisian example, and inshallah, we will see the Egyptian regime fall to the ground. You may recall, during the recent violent uprising in Tunisia, we reported some high anxiety in the Arab world that these kinds of protests by the people against their leaders could spread. Well, today they did. largest public outcry for democratic reform in Egypt in decades, some say ever. It really shocked everybody, the press, the protesters, nobody really imagined that they would get this big. Behind me here, the riot police are getting into position. All day the crowds have got bigger and just being here is a tremendous act of bravery because the government have promised to crack down on these protests. Young and old, Christians and Muslims, students and professionals all came together for protests inspired by Tunisia's recent popular revolt. The demonstrators want to seize on the momentum for change, a moment in history they don't want to let slip by. It will not be silenced whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Muslim, whether you're an atheist. You will demand your goddamn rights and we will have our rights one way or the other. Uh, we've seen Muslims and Christians, farmers and students, office workers, factory workers, men and women, all sorts of people joining in this demonstration, which has got to be the biggest one many of us have ever seen in Egypt. People are demanding an end to corruption, to abuse, unemployment, but above all, they want to see the end of President Go away, Egypt! Go away,